Kelly, thanks so much. Well, as that rain continues to fall that Kelly was just talking about, some worry in one Cabot neighborhood. What it's doing, water is flooding close to homes in a cul-de-sac. As Fox 16's Price McKeon explains why families say that there's not, this is not the first time it's happened, and now they want the city to step in and help. Even with rain, this cul-de-sac on Jackson Park Cove looks a lot different Saturday than it did the night before. This isn't the first time it's happened, and I've told my neighbors, next time it happens, wake me up. Sandy Burns isn't sure how she slept through the flooding or the flood of calls Friday night from neighbors. I was a nervous wreck because this isn't the first time it's happened, and, you know, we've only lived here for two years. Mm. It was just a solid water. I mean, it looked like I was up at the lake. Her next door neighbor, Chris Jennings, says his car got damaged when this happened last year. It was all the way up to the seats. Neighbors told us three times in about four years they've seen this. They're convinced there's draining issues the city could fix behind their homes. I think this is part of the issue. This is the retention pond. Burn says Cabot hasn't mowed it in months. This is supposed to be cleaned out in there. Her other neighbor across the street shows us what they say should be a drainage draining easement. Draining through, but it doesn't stop anything. Uh, either it's overgrown, the pipe is full, or, you know, anything. If the city doesn't do something, then my house is going to flood. As the neighborhood kids enjoy the rain, the parents hope they'll eventually be able to do that too.